Hey everybody, it's time for crafting with Jackie. So with Valentine's Day coming up, I thought this would be a fun time to make bookmarks with the Valentine's Day theme. So this is a great project to do with your kids. You can do it with your friends. Um, it's a great gift to give to students. So if your kids wanna give something to their friends at school, um, instead of giving them a card, they could make their own bookmark. So I'm gonna show you how to do that using washi tape. I'm also going to show you how to do a bookmark using just regular old uh, wrapping paper. I didn't have any Valentine's themed wrapping paper, but I thought this was pretty with the pink and the red. So that's something we'll do after we use the washi tape. So now I buy these online. These are pre-cut bookmarks, but you can actually just use whatever white cardstock you have at home. And if you just have a bookmark at home and you wanna use that as an outline, you can trace it and then cut it so it's more economical that way. Whatever you wanna do. So we've got Sarah Borellis in the background. We've got wine for refreshment. Hits the spot on a Wednesday night. Tuesday night, oh boy. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> um, so you'll have cardstock, a ruler, scissors, a hole punch, washi tape, wrapping paper, and ribbon, which will serve as the tassel on your bookmark. And you will also need some of this. I like to spray the paper surfaces that I'm working with before I use washi tape. It just sticks much better. And I'm actually, instead of just having this bare surface, I'm afraid I'll ruin my table, I'm going to use a cutting board. A, just a regular old kitchen cutting board works great. As you can tell, it's well-worn. So I'm going to take three bookmarks together because it actually is more economical and saves more time if you just do three at once rather than one at a time. I'll show you how to do that. So you just want to line them up like this. I hope this angle is okay. Let's see. Having some technical issues. Okay, there we are. So I'm going to start with the cupcake at the top. They don't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna go like so, cut the edge off, and I'm going to use this as a second layer. And this can go by pretty quick. And I'm just gonna cut that there, and so on and so forth. These little guys are kind of tricky. So now this washi tape was on sale because it's Valentine's Day. So I got two washi tapes together, these top two together, and they were on sale. It cost me $2.50, I think. And you can make quite a few bookmarks. You can make a card with this. You can do a lot with washi tape. It's my favorite thing to work with. So I'm actually going to pause this and film it a little bit faster so it's not so time consuming. But that's the idea. Just layer after layer after layer. Oops. And like I said, I've sprayed the bookmarks with spray adhesive so the washi tape sticks much better. Let's see if I can show you what that looks like. Look at how cute that is. Nice. Okay, so now that that's done, it's not perfect because I'm kind of far away from the actual bookmarks because I've got this camera <laughs> in front of me. So I'm just going to cut these. And like I said, it's just easier to do more than one at a time because it saves you time. So this is what the front looks like. I'm just gonna trim around the edge. I'm not, I'm, you don't have to do that perfectly yet. And then this is where it might be a little bit more time consuming to do the other side. You could just do the exact same pattern, oops, where you're going horizontal, 
but I'm gonna do a little bit of an angle. I like the two sides to be a little bit different. So I'm going to do a diagonal. Actually, I'll take some of this so it's not wasted. There's that. I'll go in fast motion in a second. So that's the that's the pattern. Okay, so there we have one completed bookmark. So the best way to do this so you're cutting in the proper spot, so you're not cutting too much off, is to use a oh, Sorry about that. <laughs> it's to use a light to kind of determine where the bookmark ends and you need to cut away. And I would like to thank my friend Abigail Newton, a sweet little 10 year old who's, who's been pretty much best friends with my son since they were three for teaching me how to do that fast motion element so it went by a little bit quicker. Thanks, Abby. So you're just gonna cut along the edges and uh, there it is. It's not, you know, it's not perfect. <laughs> and then what you'll do is, I don't know if you can see the little hole there where the hole punch should go. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do, it's not easy to videotape while you're actually doing something else. Little hole there, boop, boop, boop. Perfect, cute, and I think, let's see, we, we can choose from either red, pink, or white. I think pink is good. So we'll do, I don't know, let's do about a 10 inch, I don't know, 10 inch long. I'm just gonna estimate. I'm gonna cut that, move all this aside. Let's get the lighting a little bit better here. And, um, Gonna loop it around. Oops. Gonna loop this through. I don't know if you can see how that's done. And then it's done. Maybe do a little angle on the edges here. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> That's good. That looks good. A little hacky, but I'll fix that later. So there you have it. That's a bookmark. Easy breezy. I also buy these bookmarks online. Um, excuse me, um, tassels. I buy these. I can get a hundred of them for, gosh, I don't know. They're pretty cheap. And these come in handy too because they're a little bit more festive. These are cute too. So again, very simple, very easy. This was on sale at the craft store. It was half off. It was, so it was $1.50 for all that ribbon. And I will use that to make my other bookmarks. And uh, I have all sorts of cute little Valentine's Day washi tapes, really sweet. Like I said, they're on sale right now, so it's a good time to buy them. Now I'm going to show you how to make a bookmark using regular old wrapping paper whatever style you like. I did not have any Valentine's Day wrapping paper. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. Just take your bookmark paper, and like I said, your cardstock. you don't have to do anything fancy. And um, I sprayed this with spray adhesive. You wanna do that in a well-ventilated area. You don't wanna do that um, you know, in your living room or your kitchen. I have an area in the unfinished part of my basement where I spray it, so it's, it's got some nice tack to it. And let's see where there's a good pattern. So I'm just gonna do this, plop it down. Let's see. I'm gonna go along the edge here. So much quicker than washi tape, <laughs> but not as fun. And then I'm just gonna go cut along the edge of where I can really see where the bookmark is. And go all the way up. Let's see. 
ends about there. Cut the edges. And sometimes if you can't, if you don't have enough light, what you can do is just take one of the bookmarks that you already have done and cut around it as a guide, because sometimes it's hard to see. Okay. Oh, hold my heart, that's perfect, since we're talking about Valentine's Day. So that is a quick and easy bookmark with any kind of wrapping paper that you happen to have at home. I just ordered this um, really nice Japanese kimono wrapping paper. Um, it's a book. And um, I ordered it online. I just really like the patterns. So we'll put a hole in it. We'll put a tassel on it. And there we have another quality bookmark. People still read these days, right? Okay. And then I'm going to put this one on here. Done. That's it. That's how to make bookmarks. Crafting with Jackie. Thanks for watching.